Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be show you guys some footage from VegFest. I went to VegFest um, like last weekend with Chen Yang. She's not even vegan and she's the one that was like, oh my god, let's go. And I was like, oh my god, let's go. Um, so basically VegFest is like this vegan event that happens once a year, every year in London. Yeah, we ate like a shit ton of vegan food. You guys will see in a bit in the footage. I just wanted to talk about my vegan story really quickly because if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know that I am vegan. Um, I've been vegan for almost six years now. It'll be six years in February 2020. So I went vegan when I was 14 years old. I was really young. It was completely like my own decision. Um, my parents never like pushed me into it. Like on the contrary, my mom was like, what the fuck are you doing when I first went vegan? So. Basically, before turning 14, like, I was like, oh yeah, so 13 and a half, almost 14, I spent a lot of time on the internet, as a lot of uh, us kids do, and I came across a certain Freely the Banana Girl on YouTube. She still makes videos to this day, and while I do disagree with a lot of the things she says, She's essentially the person that turned me vegan. So she used to promote this thing called high carb, low fat, like raw till four lifestyle. And it made a lot of sense because at the time I was restricting my food quite a bit. Um, I was very anorexic, I, or like orthorexic should I say. I was eating meat and dairy and she was saying how like the vegan diet is just so much um, healthier for the human body, that humans are not meant to be eating animal products. Our digestive systems are not like built in that way. And I was like, you know what, like she's got a point, let me look into it. So I spent hours just researching, researching, reading like full scientific papers, like legit, like actual, like not just the fucking abstract, like the entire scientific paper. And although sometimes it'd be things that were like pretty complicated, I could, I could still like understand the gist of it. And then I started watching documentaries because I'm like, okay, there's like health benefits, but, but I can still get those health benefits by being like mostly plant-based. I don't have to go completely vegan. So then I started watching these documentaries and they show you like footage of factory farming and animals getting slaughtered and just very like graphic things. And I found that very difficult to watch. Why do we differentiate between these farm animals and like a dog or a cat? That compelled me a lot. I found that very compelling. Again, this is just me, like I, this is in no way, shape or form me telling you to go vegan at all because I don't think veganism is for everyone. I really, really genuinely don't think it's for everyone. I don't think the world needs to go vegan. Um, I do think that it's good for all of us to, you know, make a conscious effort to try and reduce our meat consumption every now and again. But I don't think veganism is for everyone. It's just a personal choice that I made when I was younger because I just did not see meat as food anymore and I still don't and I never will. I don't like the idea of eating something that's been killed, essentially a living, breathing being that's been killed. I just, it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. I don't have a, a problem being around people doing that. Like, you know, everyone that I hang out with eats meat and dairy. I don't have many vegan friends at all. And even with like byproducts, dairy, the dairy industry is very cruel. I know a lot of the shit that goes behind it. So is the egg industry. Um, and I just feel a lot better about myself as a person, just, you know, as a being, just not eating these products and it's a completely personal choice. So when I was 14, I went vegan, not cold turkey, I started cutting out like chicken and red meat first and then I would just be pescatarian for a bit. I had like dairy every now and again in the form of like yogurt and I had eggs every now and again. And then I remember this was, like the 26th of February like 2014, I was like fuck it, I'm going vegan. So I completely cut everything out. At the time, I used to cook for myself, like I stopped, like my mom stopped cooking for me when I was way younger, like I used to take care of my own food since I was 12 years old, very orthorexic and anorexic, but yeah, so I was generally in control of what I was eating, and then, so my mom would never like closely monitor what I was eating, but she still noticed like, oh, we're not really buying any more chicken, or we're not buying any more like shrimp, like, oh, like what are you eating, and I told her, oh, I'm doing this vegan thing, and she flipped shit. She was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're out of your mind. She didn't like make me stop because I think for her it was like, okay, my daughter's going through like another phase. Because I had gone through phases before this. I did like paleo, I did like a lot of stupid shit. 
Um, so she was just like, okay, like calm down, like just let your daughter do her thing. And I did my thing and I stayed vegan and now I'm like almost I'm turning 20 in a couple months and I am still vegan. So, you know, it's a long term thing for me. And I went through a lot of different phases within my like vegan journey. Um, so back then I wasn't lifting, I was just working out to be skinny. And I did this like high carb, low fat thing, it didn't work. I did this raw to a four thing. I just didn't feel good on it. It's like you're getting 90% of your calories from carbs, 5% from fat, and 5% from protein. You know, when I was eating upwards of like 3,000 calories a day, being a sedentary small female. So naturally, I gained a lot of weight. Um, so I just didn't feel good, you know, being high carb, low fat. So I went towards like a balanced vegan approach. And I stuck to that and then when I was 17 and I moved to the UK I had a lot more freedom over what I could buy because I was doing my own groceries and everything so I bought I discovered like vegan protein sources like wow vegan protein is a thing and I also started lifting at that same time so it was perfect so I would buy like soy products like soy yogurt soy milk I got protein powder, you know, protein powder for the first time. And I found seitan and like tempeh, a lot of vegan protein alternatives that I needed to fuel my workouts, to build muscle. So yeah, and now here I am. I get like around 200 grams of protein, um, like on average every day on a vegan diet. And a lot of people, I think what's holding them back in the fitness community, What's holding them back from like trying a plant-based diet is the whole protein thing. Honestly, I get it because if you don't know, then you don't know. Like, oh, when the fuck am I gonna get, how am I gonna hit my protein? This is so hard because you can make the argument that, oh, beans have a lot of protein. You know, that's, that's true, but it's also true that they have a lot of fiber, so you're gonna be farting <laughs> left, right, and center. And also they do have a lot of carbs. Carbs aren't bad, but when you're trying to like adhere to a certain macronutrient split, you want to find foods that are just protein, just carbs, and just fat because that just makes hitting your macros that much easier. And if you're against like processed foods, this might be difficult because when you want to hit your protein as a vegan, you're going to have to turn to those more processed foods. Um, processed foods aren't like bad for you. I'm not going to, I mean, if it's like with a shit ton of sugar, like those kind of things that you find in packaged foods like cookies and ice cream and all that shit like yeah that's not great for your health but processed foods in the sense like like tofu or like tempeh or seitan these foods are processed because they're not like whole foods that you find in nature but they're not bad for you and that's where you're going to be finding your vegan source of protein um so you have to be open to exploring these alternatives that might not be completely natural you know that you don't find in nature but essentially if you want to follow this diet for ethical reasons while still reaching your fitness goals go for it i've been doing it for like a couple years now i feel amazing i would recommend it and that's where i get my protein from so that was my vegan story and like what my vegan diet looks like now i'm gonna insert some clips from veg fest i hope you guys can you know get a glimpse into what it's like eating shitty vegan food for a day and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the footage all right so i'm just getting ready to go to veg fest today with chen yang i cannot fucking wait i just did like the most brutal leg workout ever today like i hit everything quads hamstrings glutes it was fucking crazy so i'm just fixing my face and then i'm gonna meet chen yang when i get the train all the way to flip in Hammersmith. So yeah, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and I will see you guys there. Hello guys, we're going to Olympia. Olympia. Vich. How do you say it? Is it Vich or something? It's Vich Fest. Vich Fest. Fest. Okay. Yeah. So I went like two years ago. Have you ever been? No, I no. haven't. I'm we're so gonna excited. stuff our fucking faces with food. We literally just had like a mean as like leg like, like, day. Yeah, yeah. Just, just for this. Just for this. <laughs> just for the food. <laughs> On the gap <laughs> Okay, so we're not even at Veg Fest yet and there's a cross town in the stew station and that cinnamon scroll vegan one is calling my name so I'm gonna get it. They 
Thank you. Okay. Here I'm we go. Try this vegan cinnamon bun donut from Fast Town. We so haven't even made it to Veg Fest yet, just like. so. <laughs> All right, let's go. Wow. How is it? Yeah, it's so good. It's so fluffy. Out of 10? Let me okay. Out of 10, I'd give it, I think, a 9.5. 9 so I would want more like icing. Yeah. You know, more sugar. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Yum. Yeah. Oh, and there's our bus. Okay. Yay! We made it! Woo! Who's fucking hungry? I'm so ready. I'm so fucking ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mental breakdown. <laughs> oh my god, guys! Spoiled for choice. This is crazy. I have never seen so many flavors of naked bars all in one place. There's more over there. Amazing. Mix and match 20 bars for £10 and you get a free tote bag with it as well, green or orange. Which one's your favourite? My favourite, lemon drizzle every time. Really? Oh my god, okay. They have like the monopoly. <laughs> but anyway, in other news, we have some fried seitan right here and some chips that we are going to share. So let's dig in. And a really horrible squirting of tomato sauce. Just <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Dark chocolate brownie with peanut butter and raspberry. Okay. Is that good? Food with peanut butter. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Better than Ramon's. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> if you're watching this, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. 10 out of 10 then. Oh. Awesome. So what do we have? We have a vegan hot dog. Tempeh again sausage. With okay. Charcoal. Give it a bite. Review, tell me. Oh my god. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. Okay, so after all that shit we just ate, we're craving vegetables. It's gonna be healthy. <laughs> not, that's not green, doesn't count. You have to get some of this. It's Let's have, I'm gonna eat that broccoli on the way home in the tube. Twenty calories. That's too much. <laughs> Not for today. We gotta be in a calorie deficit. <laughs> <laughs> ourselves some fucking water to hydrate. Zero calories. Zero calorie water. water. It's vegan as well, by the way. Um, just to hydrate on the way back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fast for like five years. Wow, what a day! Like, it was so hard filming everything. Obviously, I don't eat like shit. 
every single day you know i if i ever eat shit it'll be like just for one meal i won't make it like a whole cheat day like unless it's like once every like two three months i'll go all out it's just so refreshing to see like all the vegan options that are available to people in general like you don't have to be vegan to support like the vegan community i mean like chen yang she's not vegan or anything but you know she's actually the one that was like oh my god let's go you know i'm gonna go home now and sleep like a baby because i'm so tired <laughs> And that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It was so much fun to film. It was a bit weird, like, walking around, like, eating and, like, filming myself eat. But I genuinely don't give a shit anymore. Like, filming myself and vlogging in public is just, I don't really care. Because when I see people do it, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. They're, like, on YouTube or whatever. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And leave a comment in the comment section down below of what kind of videos you'd want to see next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.